and welcome back to JavaScript Playground. In this video, we will try a small application of using a regular expression to validate a form field. Say what we want to do is, you have this username field and the username should only be an alphabet or a number and the length should be between 6 to 8. So if I start writing something here, it gives me error and right now the length is exact 8 so it's not giving an error but if I add another character it gives me an error please enter a valid username similarly right now this is a valid username it has 8 characters and some combination of strings and numbers similarly if I start using say hash or dollar so these are not allowed these aren't numbers or alphabet, so it gives us an error. So let's give this a try. Let's try creating this. So what's happening here is, so whenever this condition is false, or whenever the string does not match, we are showing this text. So first let's try creating this text. So coming back here. So right below the first input field, we can add this text here. Let's give it an ID, say username error. Let's copy it. Let's give it some styles. Say color red. Font size, say 16 pixels. Letter spacing, one pixel. Let's save it. Let's check it out. Okay, so we've got this text visible on the screen. Let's handle the margin as well. Say margin top, zero pixels. Margin bottom, say 24 pixels. That looks much better. So this is visible by default. So let's hide it. So we can make it display none. And now as you can see, it's gone. All right, so what we want to do is, whenever the value change inside this input box, we want to check whether the current a string or current value inside this input box matches our regular expression or not. So let's give it a try. So the ID is username and I've already got it here. So get element by ID, username. So because this is an event, so there are two options. We can add event listener, say input, we can give it an anonymous function. Let's just print here for now whatever is the current value. And if you remember, we get access to this event object. So to get the exact value, we can do event.target.value. Let's save it, let's give it a try. Let's open the console. All right, so now when I write something here, it gets visible in the console, so it's working perfectly fine. All right, so let's try designing a regular expression. Say where regex, so forward slashes, and inside that we can write a pattern. So what we want is a combination of numbers and alphabets, and the length should be six to eight, and it should start with a word. Of course, we want to match it exact, and it should end with this condition itself. Now let's try creating a string, say, username that's a valid right so we've got eight characters here and all are alphabet so it's a valid username so here we can use test so to use test it's regular expression dot test and we pass the string inside so if you as you can see here it's giving us true similarly if i change it to say username one two three four five so this the length is longer so if I run this again, it gives us false. All right, so we've got this decent regular expression which matches our requirement. So let's copy it. Let's bring it here. So let's say we've got the pattern. Let's put this current value in a string. So e.target.value. So we've got the pattern as well as the current string. 
So to match it, we can do pattern dot test, and inside the parentheses, we can pass current value. Let's print it. Let's check it out. So now when I write username, it was false for the first five. The moment it went six, it gave us true. So let's try it again. So till five, it's false. The moment it goes six, it's true. Till eight, it's true. When I add another character, it gives false because it's going out of range. Similarly, say user one, two, three. This is a valid username. So it has a length of seven, which falls between six to eight, which is fine. And it contains only alphabets and numbers. Similarly, if you had hash hash dollars, it gives us false because this is not a valid username. So our condition is working fine. So all we have to do is just show that error paragraph here whenever this is false. So coming back. So we can store this value in another variable. Say valid. And whenever the condition is valid, we can change the styles of this error paragraph. So username hyphen error, let's select it first. Say username error para document dot get element by ID. We pass our ID here. Now we have access to this element. And to update the styles, we can simply do selected element dot style dot style value. So in this case, it's display. So we can make it block. And whenever it's invalid, we can make it none. Let's save it. Let's give it a try. So as you can see, it's giving me this error interval username. Similarly, let's say when we write this, it gives us an error when the username is valid. So we've made some mistake here. So what we've done is when it's valid, we're showing the error. So this just needs to be the other way around. Let's save it. Let's give it a try. So as you can see right now, there are three characters and it's showing us this error. So the moment it reaches seven, the error is gone. So even if you add some numbers, it's fine. But when it goes outside the bound, it starts giving us an error. That's all for today, guys.